yes i am yes i am hello hello yeah yeah right. every day it's happen one time at least that uh, no, a little plug is move and immediately left out down so i turn on again oh, anyway so i was talking about that uh, if the if this is given that koyan is uh, bought a water in 2.6 dollar right this 2.6 dollar if i say water is to uh, is to biscuit so biscuit is 2 right and uh, yes how much the water uh, the water price is through so i think i i, I should write uh, biscuit is to water huh yeah so first is biscuit yeah. second is water biscuit is to water is 3 is to 2 so this 2 is given 2.6 dollar means two parts are given 2.6 dollar from this uh, we will manage right so if two parts yeah. given 1.2.3 dollar what will be the one part one part how much will be the one part one second sir okay where are you okay sir okay yeah. sir so one part will be what 1.3 right okay yeah fine yeah this 1.3 is... yeah okay yeah because 2.6 is for two parts and for one part it will be 1.3 so yes find the cost of biscuit now we need to find the cost of biscuit so what will be the... how many parts are the biscuits biscuits are three parts right So three, three parts into one point yes. three, it will be three point nine. Right? Thirteen three is a three point nine. Three point nine. So three point doll nine dollar is reserved for biscuit. Yes. Got it. Like this we uh, manage. Uh, like this we manage the things, right? Now next thing is, next thing is uh, if we see the question, and they give in this question, Koyan has nine dollar. Koyan has nine dollar now. Nine dollar. Yeah, for nine dollar now we will manage for nine dollar. Slide adapter is loose. I'm trying to this orange light to start. Wait, I just put over here. Yeah, no fine. Okay, Koyan has now next part. If you see, Koyan has nine dollar spent. He spent nine dollar, the total amount. Now we will manage this nine dollar. How? So the question is, uh, work out the total amount of Koyan he has to spend the water and biscuit. Uh, the fraction of the given in the lowest term. So what will be the fraction? If he buy the he spent nine dollar, right? Yes. Koyan spent how much? Nine dollar, right? Nine dollar. Nine dollar to uh, find out the to find out now find out the fraction of nine dollar. Give your answer in, in the lowest term. The total amount Koyan spent nine dollar. So what is the total amount of this all? Yeah, he is spending nine dollar for these things. Okay. So you will find water and you will find the uh, five parts. The total is five parts, right? Yeah. Five parts cost will be what? Five parts will be five multiplied by one point three, right? Yes, one point three. So six point. Five times one point three. Yeah, six point five. The total amount is uh, six point five, but he has uh, nine dollar, right? So what will be the fraction? Yeah. Point five over nine. 
This is the fraction you will make. 6.5 over 9. Yeah, is this correct? Mm. Yeah, oh yes. Sir. Are you sure? Check it again. Maybe yeah. I'm... Um, sure. Yeah, let's see. The question is, work out the amount Koyan spent on the water and biscuit as a fraction of nine dollar. Six point five seems correct. Six point five is yeah. correct. Six point five is the total amount. And five over nine. Six. Six point five over nine. Is over nine, right? So because uh, the total yeah. five parts, he will collect this. This one is the amount, but he has nine dollar. So this is, and you can make it that fraction, sixty-five over nine, and then five, thirteen's up, and five. One's up five, and five eight's up thirteen. Thirteen or eighteen? Right. Eighteen. Like this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next we go for more, and. Uh, on the next page if we see yeah here it is written nine dollar is 62 percent lesser than the last week price right nine dollar is 62 percent lesser than last price it is this is reverse percentage the calculate the amount that we spent last week so last week okay yeah this is means last week he spent more or less this price is this price nine dollar he spent, and this price is sixty. The answer has to be more. Yeah, answer has to be more. Very nice. So this price is sixty two percent, sixty two point five percent lesser. So what uh, method we use for reverse percentage? Did you remember? Yes, I think so. Hopefully, one second. Let me make it. Mm -hmm. Right. Means if I subtract uh, 2.5 from 100, you will get what? 100 minus 62.5 means 37.5. Very good. So 37.5 is uh, the remaining, the lesser. So okay. 37.5 so... x equal to? Sir, answer will be 24. Very good. So you do like this, 9 divided by 37.5 percent right yeah that so 9 divided by 0 0.375 you did like this yes okay calculate this and tell me okay 9 divided by 0 point. 24 that's correct very good so 0 point. 9 divided by 0.375 equal to 24 yes 24 done so that means last week price was 24 and now this is decrease too much okay anyway next is we move further oh now Priya buys a bicycle of 250 dollar every year the value of bicycle decreased by 8 and its value in the beginning is what in the beginning from the beginning of the year every year the value is decreasing how much 8 percent right 8 percent yeah, 8 percent decrease means this is 8 percent decrease and after 10 years you have to calculate calculate the value of Priya's bicycle after 10 years depreciation and correct your answer into the nearest dollar. So we will start from 250. So how you will yeah. do this? If we start with the 250. Okay, I'll try. Okay. It's 250. 250. One minus rate. Yeah, very good. Time is 10. Yeah. So our answer is uh, 108.79. Okay, let me check. I use compound. compound interest. Yeah, compound interest and decreasing. Huh? So if you yes. decrease, if you decrease from one minus uh, eight percent, right? So you will get ninety two percent. Yes. 
92% mean 0.92 and power 8. So power yeah, do your power 10, sir. Oh, sorry, because power 10 years, right? 10 years, sorry, 10 years. So I should write power 10. Now, what first we this is a quick calculation. You can something you can do orally and something you can write. So 0 0.92 and the power 10 press equal to and then multiply it by 250. So your answer is 108.59. So 108.59 approximately 108.59. So that means if you convert into the nearest 10 dollar, nearest dollar. So 109, huh? 109, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Done. Now next we move. Okay, this is uh, transformation. So in this, okay, let's we try over here how to deal this transformation. Oh, oh where is this going? Yeah. So if you see this one, now in this question they said uh, on the grid, the first of all you have to do a triangle T after the translation by vector minus 4 4 okay so basically this question you will do on the graph but we can understand over here so triangle T will move here so the translation vector is what minus 4 4 C minus 4 minus 4, 4 minus 4 4 means first is X second is Y so minus 4 you will move over here and 4 down minus 4 over here and 4 up right minus 4 plus. yes now see I will move minus 4 and plus 4. So first point will move from here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, yeah, and then up. 3, 4 right. So I just uh, show uh, something over here how you will do. For example if you have uh, like that over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4 minus 4 then 1, 2, 3, 4. This first point will be over here and similarly second point here and third all the points will move over here from minus 4 4 right yes so your uh, translation vector t dash will come over here first thing is done now next thing is you will do uh, the next is next question is uh, the triangle t reflect in y is equal to minus 1 okay so what is uh, y is equal to minus 1 is the line of reflection First, I will draw the line of reflection that is y is equal to minus x. Okay. 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 I will draw for you the line of reflection first. So, line of reflection is basically this. This was t and this was t dash reflected. Now, the line of reflection, this line of reflection is equal to y is equal to minus x. Now, in y is equal to minus x, I will reflect this triangle uh, T. So, in order to reflect what we do, we take this distance, perpendicular distance to this point, this, right? And the same, how much this distance, you can use the, your compass and the same distance you can take over here and make a point, right? First point. Okay. Really, the second point is, uh, of course, this is over here in this direction. The second point is this. And this one also, this and this over here, over here. So your uh, reflection will be, will move over here. This reflection. Okay, this will reflect onto, onto this one. So some people uh, uh, do use the butter paper also, but you can count directly perpendicular distance of every point over here. This is a reflection. Got, got it? Okay. Fine, got it. Easy. Okay, next one is uh, what they are asking. Uh, describe fully single transformation the T onto U. T onto U. Remember, I will describe T onto U. T on Okay, T onto U. What you are thinking about T onto U? The, it's going over here, right? So, T, yeah. what is the relation? Size is same, right? Yeah, it's rotation. Rotation. Rotation and in the rotation what you need to tell? 
Uh, it's it's 180 degree clockwise rotation. Mashallah, mashallah. So you will write over there. Uh, clockwise, clockwise rotation. 180 degree angle. And center. And this is for three marks, yeah. Yeah, but you, but you will, but you will write the center, center of rotation. What is okay. center of rotation? Uh, if you make a straight line over here. It's easy way is if you make a straight line to join this one, this with this, right? So oh yeah, to the point. Passing sir. from here, this point, minus one comma zero. Minus one comma. Yeah, in, yeah, in this case it is very easy. Minus one comma zero. It says center, center, center of rotation. Got it? Okay. Next, we what they are asking. Uh, Then we describe describe only t onto w. Now we have to describe t onto w. Now t onto w, the t is this, w is this. What you suggest about the t and w? What kind of the picture you can see? T onto w is what? Okay, it's different size. Transformation. Transformation. You always say translation to transformation. Translation. You already done done this one. This is what. This look like what reflection, right? This is also reflection. Yeah, of course. The first one was reflection. You did. The yeah, first one was reflection. I I, ch I check that 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 was reflection or not. The first one. The first one was what? Oh, wait a second. What they said, translate and uh, the triangle T reflection y is equal to minus one. The first one was we did wrong. Y is equal to minus one. Right. First one we did wrong. First one was reflection y is equal to minus one. Y is equal to minus one is this. Mm, see, y is equal to minus one is this. This is right. This line is y is equal yeah. to minus one. So the first one was the reflection was this one. So if you move this, how much is I think minus two and move over here, move over here and move this one. This one was the first part, right? Okay. Reflection, reflection in reflection in y is equal to minus one. Got it. And this one is, uh, and this one is the reflection in y is equal to uh, minus x. So you will write over here uh, the relation between uh, relation between t and w. So in this space, which is given this space, you will write the reflection uh, of t onto w is reflection in y is equal to minus x. Uh, Only this one you will write over here. Now two cross two matrices. Now two cross two matrices of reflection of y is equal to minus x. When you are doing y is equal to minus x, see how to uh, suggest the matrices. Take the reflection. If when we take the reflection, this point will come over here. Uh, normally these are the point. Initial points are these zero and one, and this is one and zero. So when we this we move over here, this will be minus one comma zero, right? X will be minus one, and this is zero. X will be comma one, okay. Right? Okay. And this will be over Fine. here, and this will be over here. Zero minus one. This will come over here. This is the reflection. You know, in the reflection, what we do the in the y axis, ref, if reflection can be x is equal to y, or y is equal to x. Both the things will be changed. X become y, y become x, right? And if the reflection is okay, ninety degree, this comes over here. But here is the case is minus x, so that's why we are using this minus sign. So this is the reflection. Reflection two cross two matrices we will write. Uh, the you can remember uh, yeah. memorize also these matrices, some of the matrices of the uh, transformation. Okay, next. Part we move uh, towards this. Uh, which uh, topic is this? Menstruation. 
Yes, mensuration. So you remember the formula of mensuration? I think last class we discussed the mensuration and you told me that the... Basic. Yeah, we discussed it. Yeah. So what about this? Uh, if you see that the water is halved, weighted with the 6 uh, centimeter, the water is still here. The whole shape of prism is consist of 12 meter height, 12 centimeter height. So these things, uh, first of all, our first look is the longer side is 120 and the base is this. So immediately in your mind, base area multiplied by longer side, this, this should come. So the question is, uh, the diagram shows the horizontal water uh, through the shape of prism and 6 centimeters is the height of water and 12 centimeters is the height of vessel. The parallel sides are 25 and 35. So the cross section area of the prism and the trapezium parallel to sides are 35 and 25 and perpendicular distance is 12. The perpendicular distance is this shortest distance from 25 to 35 is called perpendicular distance. That's for vessel. Now the next thing is what we need to calculate the volume of trough. The volume of this whole trough. So if we need to find the volume of whole trough we will use this height. 12 right okay so fine what i will do i will uh, write volume equal to base area multiplied by longer side longer side, yeah, longer side. so base area will be what uh, uh, 25 plus 35 divided by 2 times height 25. height is 12 plus 35 and finally multiplied by 150 120 sorry why I'm saying 150 so now please calculate it okay 5 plus 35 divided by 2 uh, how much so one second so I have having error in my me also. My calculator was off and I was calculating the whole thing. <laughs> 25 plus 35 equal to 43,200. 60 divided by 2 equal multiplied by 12 multiplied by 120 equal to 43,200. Your calculation. Yeah. 43,200. Centimeter cube? Yes, centimeter cube. Okay, centimeter cube we take. And the uh, next thing what we will do? Now we find uh, like how much water is in tra tra trapezium. Okay, now first thing is done. Now move to the next one. Okay, so I move down. And we see the next part. Okay, trough contain the water of six. Uh, depth is six, right? Show that the water volume is uh, nineteen thousand eight hundred. So, if the trough height trough height is uh, six centimeter, so you have to show that the water volume is how much? Nineteen uh, thousand eight hundred. Now we use this uh, height to to show that the, uh, the water volume is this. So what you will do? The same thing. So uh, you take 43,200. No, but, uh, but there is some something change. Yeah, yeah, so you have to find the volume, but make the height six. Yeah, height is six, okay. If you say height is six, okay. If you say height is six, okay, I understand. But uh, we will use this, this and this side. What, yeah. This one is 25. What is this? Okay, height is 6. Height is 6. Okay, I write height is 6. Okay. Height but is 6. For how much is this one? I mean, this, this one is, uh, we don't use this one. We use this one and this one, right? And then go over here.
so this one is we will see in the ratio this is this was 6 and this was 12 right so what is the difference between 6 and yes it was double it was double yeah it's double and it is 35 and this was 25 right so 25 yes so from 25 to 35 how much we are getting how much uh, the difference 10 right yes from yeah. this to this is double the scale factor is double so this is 30 are you getting 25 30 35 6 12 yeah okay right, right. so 10 divided by 2 is yeah. uh, 5 so this is 5 more five. than is this is you will use common sense in this so your so your answer so your volume your base area will be 1 upon 2 and 30 plus 25 and uh, multiplied by now help me to calculate 6 multiplied by 150 120 calculate all this uh 19800 yes so proof right yeah so we had to prove okay done move on to the next one okay. next one is uh, uh, you have to calculate the percentage of the trough containing water so percentage is very easy can you tell me how you will calculate percentage oh yeah percentage. okay so for that one we got okay so Water over total? Uh, 19,800 yeah. over 43,200 times 100. 43,200. The answer is? Answer is? Answer is 45.83%. Uh, okay, 45.83%. This is answer very nice so next thing is uh, what I will do I will see what they required maybe when the volume are volume is there in centimeter cube they required the uh, liters now see this part uh, the, the water uh, is drained from trough at the rate of 12 liter per hour right so we will use water volume now we will use the water volume and water is draining now out and in in one uh, hour how much water is uh, draining 12 right so you Hello. have to you have to make this uh, tank empty you have to make this okay. tank empty so how much time you will require to make it empty so what you will do the whole volume of water divided by calculate Divided by uh, 12. Okay, we divide by 12, so calculate the answer. Divide by 12. Divide by 12 equals to 1650. Okay, 1650. So 1650 is what? What is this? This is what? this one thousand hours hour, uh, hours taken. so you have to give the time in hours and minutes so, right and minutes and perfectly this is uh, yes uh, uh, but this is per liter right this is per liter yes so you per have liter. divided by one thousand also first you have to divide by one thousand then it will come so if you divide by one thousand it will come 1.65 got it 1.65 okay so yeah. 1 1.65 yes. one hour one hour uh, we have to keep the eye on the unit also so one hour and 0.65 you will multiply by 60 because this is minute 0.65 uh, because this is uh, the unit of 60 not 100 so 0. Hmm. 0. 0.65 multiplied by 60 this so 39 yeah 39 Thirty-nine minutes. Minutes. Done. Right. Yep. Very good. Yes. Now see on to the next one. Here we go. So this was our four marks.
how easily you can get full mark but the unit conversion must be perfect okay now next thing is uh, the water from the trough is uh, fill mm, a cylinder of radius r and height is 3 uh, r centimeter uh, so find the radius so what's your idea how you will do this one until i remove this okay the water on trough from the cylinder radius r Find the value of R. Okay. Yeah. So you see that the radius is how much? Radius? Yeah, it's not given. Radius is R, right? Given. It is R, yeah, it's it X. R. And the height is 3R. 3R. Okay. Now cylinder. We pour the whole water into this cylinder. Right? So yes. If we, if we pour from that uh, trapezium, uh, to the cylinder this is R and this is 3R now if I pour the whole water into this new vessel the volume will change or remain same if you put water inside the the, uh, the cylinder volume yeah. will change or will it be same yeah volume of it will be will same it will be same of course until you drop out. Volume of water volume volume of water will be different. Volume, volume of water will be Why different. volume of water will be different? Shape if the if you put one uh, glass of water into some mug or somewhere, the water will be changed? Water volume will no, be No, it'll be same, sorry. The only shape No no it'll be same, right? sorry. So I'm using this shape now. Only shape will be volume changed. Volume is same, I'm using okay. this shape. So volume is what one nineteen thousand eight hundred remains same this is centimeter cube because uh, my radius is in centimeter so I will keep in centimeter so pi r is remains same and this is 3r now you can see that everything is converted into same variable so 19,800 yeah. divided by uh, this is 3 pi 3 pi r is square h so over here it will come r square into r is r cube now you will calculate this one and cube root now tell me 19,800 divided by 3pi and cube root so you will get r okay so 19,800 divided by 3 equals to 6,600 okay 3pi sir i got you 3pi uh, oh, wait, wait. one second okay sorry. 19.8 divided by why is it so zero three times pi two thousand one hundred well, let me write this down did you take cube root or answer no no now uh, now I'm taking cube root now I'm taking cube, cube. yeah uh, it is two one zero zero point eight four mm. sir is twelve point eight zero. Okay, perfect. Twelve point eight zero. My answer is also same. So this is your answer. Twelve point eight zero. And this two percent cannot be wrong. Less chances. So the answer is correct. Twelve point zero eight is centimeter is radius in this case. Right? Now next thing is see this one. The next part. And they are saying what they are saying. Cylinder has a mass. Yes. So, the cylinder has mass 1.2 kg. 1 centimeter cube has mass 1 gram. So, cylinder has mass is, if I write mass in the gram, it will be 1.2 into 1000, right? Into 1000. Yeah. So, mass will be what? Uh, 1200 gram. Yes. This is the total mass. And 1 centimeter cube is 1 gram. So, calculate the mass of the cylinder of the water in kg. So, how much uh, water is there? How much calculate water? the total. Okay. Yeah, how much the water? 1 centimeter square cube of, of uh, 1 kg. Yeah, so you know, so now you will use the uh, water, right? 
Yes. And you have to convert everything in kg. One centimeter is one gram. One centimeter. One centimeter. Yeah, one centimeter cube, one gram. And how many centimeter you have? Okay, do like this. How many centimeter cube of was the water? Eighteen thousand. Remember? Eighteen. Uh, yeah, eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand two hundred. No, in the in water. the trout it was nineteen thousand eight hundred water. Okay, sorry, I forgot it. So nineteen thousand. Eight hundred. Okay, nineteen thousand eight hundred was the water, and this is x gram. So what you will do now into convert into the kg. So x equal to okay. So one thousand two hundred times. So uh, x equals to yeah. Uh, what do you call nineteen thousand eight hundred uh. times times one times uh. Times one g. Yeah, this is this times, will be, this will uh, be in grams. So if you will convert into the kg, yeah. what you will do? If I have to convert to kilograms, I have to divide by one thousand. Yeah, done. So a nineteen point eight, right? Yes. This will be in, into the kg. Okay. Next is the graph. You remember the graph? Oh yeah. Okay. So in the graph, uh, first of all, they will always give you like that. Um, in some values is missing, so you will use calculator. And this graph is uh, if this x squares over here, x square over here. This graph of type one over x square. This is a graph of type. The family is one over x square, and a is there. So, or you can say a over x square type graph. A is basically one over two. This is a. So that's why the graph is written uh, f of x equal to one over two x square, right? So this graph normally form like this. And due to this, some scale factor comes. So graph is move, but the shape is like this. Maybe this will be shift. We will see uh, according to the situation of the table how the graph will form. First, we will form the graph. So, can you see that uh, few values are given? We just try to plot it. So, zero point three minus five. Zero point three, suppose over here, and it go on to minus five point three. Is suppose here, and similarly point five move a little bit more. Minus one point five over here. And if you put one, so one by two. Right? Yep. So here is uh, point five. Here is one. On one, it will be one by two over here. So the graph is going like this, like this, and uh, the left side graph was minus point five three, minus point five. Uh, my, if I go over here, minus point three, this is minus five point nine over here, and then uh, if I go further more, minus point five over here, it will go minus two point five, and if I move further uh, at minus one, it will be one by two again. At minus one, it will be one by two over here, and at uh, minus one point five. Over here, it will be minus one point seven. Yeah, over here. So the, this graph is going like this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Due, due to the values, the graph is formed like that. Okay. Once we form the graph, next thing is uh, they will require uh, some of the things, some of the intersection point and some solutions. F of x is equal to one. F of x is equal to one means y is equal to one. F of x equal to one. Equals to one. Uh, so f of x equal to one means y equal to one. 
y equal to 1 i say y is equal to 1 suppose uh, y is equal to 1 comes over here right so if i draw this it will or over here suppose it will cut over it can be cut this one or this one so wherever it will yeah. cut i will i will collect the number uh, point of intersection i will point where it's cutting yeah okay fine yeah yeah this one this this point suppose this point is 1 1.5 so x is equal to 1.5 this is answer so it's okay so when you will do on the graph paper it will be more perfect but the idea we should learn now next thing is uh, uh, there is a uh, one negative integer the value k uh, so f of x is equal to k has only one solution so that the real x for uh, write down the value of k so if you take only one solution the value of x where it takes one solution what is the value of y where it takes only one solution so of course uh, it will give you the some values so uh, if i if i if i draw some graph if i make a line over here here anywhere right it is okay. it is giving you the more solutions one, yes one more time we have to see our graph is uh, uh, going like this because so this is very important that uh, this was 0.3 minus uh, 5 0.3 this over here and the my first point was 0.3 right on 0.3 i took point over here and that no, 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 next point was this one uh, 0.5 on the 0.5 it over here okay on the one it is half it's okay and the 1.5 it was here uh, 1.3 1.3 1 so it's mean one is over here this line is over here so this was the first one so not this one right because 1.3 is more than it should be more than this is this and then yeah. is uh, 1.5 is 1.3 and 2 is if we go to uh, it will 1.9 So over here, so like this, uh, like this, the graph will form. Okay, so I was talking about that how we suggest the solution according to the requirement. So if they say only one solution, means it should touch at only one point, not more than one point. So one point will come over here more than this value, more than this value, more than this all value, and you tell where the graph is going. these are this is the portion suppose whatever the value you will get from here over here suppose you are getting the value over here is uh, 0.8 and this value you are getting 1.8 so your inequality will be 0.8 greater value and less than equal to 1 right so tell this as in total so this is the value of k you will write over there You got my point. Uh, see, this is. Sure, explain one more time. Okay. See, this is one solution. If I touch, if my line is going over here, it is one solution over yes. here and one solution over here, right? Yeah, fine. But my point is should not touch this point. It should be greater than this. Then only one intersection point will come. Okay. Right? Over here. Yes. Not here. So if my any of the line cut these three more than one or two points will come. so they said only one intersection point one, only one solution only one real solution will be more than this so value will be greater than 0.8 like this so you can write 0.8 okay next thing is uh, the graph is given the situation is given mm, in this form that uh, uh, the value is 2x 2x minus 1 over 2x square minus 2 equal to 0 this is the equation now you will use some of your transformation so the basic equation i will show you what was the basic equation if you remember 1 over 2x square this was the basic equation right the basic equation is 1 over 2x square yeah f of x equal to x minus 1 over 2x square 
this is the basic equation right yep yeah i think we did some mistake also in, in drawing the graph anyway i don't want to repeat this one i just uh, want to say that if suppose the equation is this one then transform this uh, equation into this one so i need this one should be in this form we can write if i break this one if i write x plus x uh, minus 1 upon 2 x square minus 2 equal to 0 see a little bit resemblance with that value oh yeah yes so this value is f of x this one can you see so uh, can i write f of x over here in i guess x plus f of x minus 2 equal to 0 got it yeah okay yes so now if i find f of x it will be minus x plus 2 it's move on the right side i move on the right side i move this x and this minus 2 on the right side so my equation will become y equal to minus x plus 2 this type of equation we have to form always okay mm, okay so now you will draw now you will draw this equation now you, you, you will you will draw this equation on onto this graph and we will observe that where this equation will cut existing graph on this existing graph so minus x plus 2 so from means this will pass from 2 this will pass from 2 this will pass from 2 means suppose my point 2 is here and the gradient is uh, minus 1 so from 2 this is minus 1 going down and 1 uh, over here so this is passing through like this like this and one thing I also Got it. told you that one time we put y is equal to 0 so what will come x if I put y is equal to 0 x will be 2 and if I put x is equal to 0 uh, sorry if I put x is equal to 0 y will be 2 if i put uh, y is equal to 0 x will be 2 right so 0 2 yeah so 0 2 and 2 0 0 2 and 2 0 right 2 0 yeah 0 2 and 2 0 and we just make a line so sometimes we see this line is also x plus y is equal to 2 if you if you move this one on the left side so x plus y is equal to 2 is always like this so 2 and 2 and we draw quickly so when we draw this line we will see we will observe this is the intersection point intersection point okay this is the intersection point okay. intersection point between this line and the curve already drawn you got my point got it very good so we they always ask us intersection point so we will observe here uh, intersection point on x-axis where it's cut. It's uh, too much uh, lines over there, but I'm trying to use the color so that you can understand. Okay, next thing is uh, uh, we draw the line and this one equal to zero. Now again, we will form, form the transformation of this one. This one, right? So uh, I will try to transform this also. Let me remove this one. So my original equation f of x again I am writing over here f of x was what if you remember x minus 1 over 2 x square right Ayan f of x was this x square yes and this time over here the equation is given 2x minus 1 over 2 x square minus 2 this will also uh, what is the difference between this yeah this is the same we already done on the second part in the second part they are asking the solution we already done both first we draw the line and then this this line solution is this we already done right so i yes. also told you that they ask some solution where the lines but if if this line is passed from here we will observe here the solution is here and here right but this line is passing from yes 
passing here so only yeah. collision is possible with this curved part part of this curve sometime you know this uh, sometime the curve is like that something some curve is going like that and some curve is going like that right and uh, yes yeah this kind of curve we see normally in other question you can do some practice so some line if suppose if some line is passing through like this so this there will be two solution right so here and here you will observe and write and uh, if they say only one solution as they were asking the one solution so one solution is uh, greater than this line and like this line between this it should not touch this point it should not um, touch this point so between these no solution no solution means nowhere the line is cutting like that right so these type of things yeah after a few uh, a little practice you can understand okay next thing is uh, if we move uh, yeah this one this is uh, uh, which chapter so oh, angle properties oh uh, bearings also oh yes you Trigo are trigonometry yeah you are not perfect in that right i think you will participate well yes because it's fresh in your mind for two days you learn with me now see the question in the question number in this first thing what they are asking can you read the question uh the diagram shows some distances between mumbai yeah kathmandu dhaka and colombo yeah dhaka uh, in colombo so uh, angle kcd is 65 degree so what they are asking over here use the cosine law to calculate cd so calculate cd for cd of course if they will not say cosine law we have to use cosine law no other way yeah. so can you write directly on the calculator if we write directly on the calculator grade 11 student can directly could do it so what is the value 2380 square plus 680 square very big value here yeah. and uh, minus 200 uh, 2380 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 680 multiplied by cos of 65 so this is the answer and if i take a square root square root of the answer is this so i calculated this directly if you calculate this you check your answer and my answer is match 21 okay 27.6 this right so what i did i did like this 2380 square plus Mm, 680 square minus 2 into 2380 into 680 cos of 65. This is x square, and then take square root of all this. Cos so, 65. Yeah, 47,000. Oh, I'm getting uh, 475,000. Four seven five eight eight six nine is my answer, huh? and then I have to square root it. Square root is what? No, no, square root. Uh, square root is four seven five one seven. Uh, it is four seven five eight eight six nine point. Sir, it's two thousand one hundred eighty one. Are you sure? I hope so. I think so. It has to be correct. I will kill you if there. If the answer is wrong, <laughs> no, okay. I'm checking again. Two thousand three hundred and eighty squares plus sorry plus six uh, eighty square minus two into you put two into two three eight zero into six eighty into cos of sixty five. So four thousand seven hundred and sixty-eight. This kind of things come right. So now square root. Yeah. Of, 
इसका रूट ऑफ आंसर तो टू वन एट वन वो प्रीवियस आंसर टू वन एट ओके आई एग्री विद यू हंड्रेड परसेंट सो आई शुड राइट दिस वन सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ सी डी दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ सी डी सी डी नाउ गो ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन The next one is uh, okay. Use the sine rule to calculate the KMC, to the angle KMC, right? So I come yes. again on to the question. Remember KMC, KMC angle we have to calculate. So now in this figure, KMC is this one. KMC K. M and C. This angle, this angle we need to calculate. This angle. Yes. Okay. So, so for this we use sine rule. Sine rule. So if I say sine of what I will write, write sine of K M C. K M C divided by sine of this angle divided by opposite side is two three eight zero. Right. Eight zero. Yeah. Equal to. वैल्यू Sine. So first thing, this will go over here. Two three eight zero times sine forty divided by one five six zero. The sine inverse of all this. Zero. Ah, nine inverse sine. Seventy eight point five. Two three eight zero sine forty and divided by one five six zero. Let it close. Equal to this seventy eight point seven. I got seventy eight point five two. Walla lagu. Yes, it's correct. So K M C. So these are range, right? For answers like this, is yeah, a range. You can write in one decimal place, right? Seventy eight point seven means seventy eight. You can write seventy nine. Is there point five or point seven is same? You can move on to the next one. Round off. So maybe they write over here the round off. So thinking. Okay, they didn't write. Anyway, we found the next thing is what? Is the bearing of K from M is fifty degree. Okay. So okay. Now, now you remember this angle. I am writing here this angle over here. K M C is is seventy nine, and the other C D was two one eight one, and then rest I will remove. This calculation may be used. Now, thing is, they said uh, what is the given value is. Uh, the bearing of K, bearing of K, K from uh, C equal to K from C equal to zero five zero. This is bearing is given this one, and find what you need to find. Find bearing. sir M from uh, K from M yeah yeah K, K from, from M. K from M is given, and you you need to find the bearing of M from C. M from C. I'm writing here, right? C. Now I will show you picture again, and we will struggle to find this one. Now, C. This is a picture. The bearing, the given bearing is this one, zero five zero, and this is K from C. So if I draw this figure like this, this. This over here. This, this. 
so this is k 65 this was 40 and and this is m and north so which bearing is given k from c k from c c is this so k is this no uh, they gave uh, m uh, they gave uh, k from m k from m is 0. Point, uh, is uh, 50 degrees k from c no are you sure no so sir, sir it's m you wrote oh. c is wrong it's oh. m, m thank you very much yeah i just check it again to be M. Okay, let's see. Oh yes, K from M. Yeah, very nice. So otherwise they both will meet somewhere else. <laughs> K from M. K from M. K from M is this one. Right. Okay. So K from M is this one. Means the bearing is this. So I write here over here 50. I write here 50. So this is given. Yeah. We write in two letters. But when we write over here, it's three letters. And then now what they are asking? Asking M from C. M from C. Means you are coming from C. M from C means you are going like this. Got it? Yeah, fine. So you need what you need you need this one you need m from c means from c you are coming but you will calculate this one this green one you need to find the whole green one which i make you need to find this one so in order to find green one what you required till this you have 50 you know you need this one also if you need this oh one, sir that green one will be 40 40 this is yeah, 40, yeah. how how 40 how this one is 40 opposite angle right no how, how you can say this is equal to this this is not equal to this no isosceles triangle oh, so, okay see this one 2380 was given right and we will take the help of sine law you know you you found from sine law this angle i think we found it sir in the previous question we found it yeah sine law. i think it was 78.52 okay 78.52 very good thank you very much if you write over there in your copy this was 70.52 yeah. uh, or whatever you can easily calculate 1560 you can find by sine law this angle now this see this one this one is 180 180 plus this plus this right yeah yeah so 78 point this 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 one plus this 50 plus 180 we always support 180 degree this 180 degree angle will support us we don't need to uh, worry about it if the straight line is going so can you calculate this total and tell me okay one second okay so that one is 78.52 yes 78.52 plus 50 plus 180 do it 70 okay 72.52 plus 1 plus 180 plus do it again 78.52 you are like me older one 78.52 plus 50 plus 80 okay. how much is answer is 308.52 this is answer 308 308.52 done now next we move some other bearing maybe they ask very interesting okay next is uh, yes this they give some time so you see that uh, an aeroplane is going colombo to Bum mumbai leaves this yes. and takes two hours 24 minutes whoa so find the arrival time so how much it's the 21 15 right and how much the journey time this is departure time they give yeah this yeah. is departure so time 9:15 this is plus uh, journey time journey time is uh, 2 hours and 20, 20, 24 2 hours 24 minutes so we can easily find the arrival time uh, at mumbai 
unless they say that the time difference is that is different. They did not give the time difference, so we will use this. Twenty three, twenty three uh, hours, twenty three, and then minutes is thirty nine. Ah, oh, it's easy. It's, we did, do not need to carry even. Otherwise, sometimes we can, we take carry and increase one hour, right? But this is very yeah. easy. So this is twenty three thirty nine. In the night, you will reach over there. Okay, yeah. twenty three thirty. This is arrival time. And the next thing is average speed. Can you tell me about this average speed? How to calculate the average speed of this? Okay, average speed equals is a uh, total distance uh, divided by total speed. Wow, my genius student! So average speed equal to total distance divided by total time. So time, yeah. So total distance was how much from this to this? From a plane is going from Mumbai. Uh, now tell me where is Mumbai and where is Colombo? Colombo to Mumbai. Where is Colombo to Mumbai? In the figure we will see, huh? So which one is Colombo? Yes. Colombo C. Yeah. Colombo C. Colombo C. Colombo to Mumbai, right? This is the distance. One five six zero. One five six zero. Total time. Yeah, they are they are nice. They write the letters very resemble. So the letter is Colombo to Mumbai. Mumbai is. One five six zero divided by total time is. What was the total time? How much the journey time? Yeah, journey time. They give you journey time. You use that journey time right now. Oh yeah, it was. Uh, it was one hour. Uh, one hour. Two hours and fifteen minutes. Ah, two hours twenty four minutes. Twenty four minutes. Yeah. So two hours twenty four minutes. Tell me in the decimal, dear. Little bit you have to do. No, don't okay, division. Okay. So two hours twenty four yes. minutes in in the decimal. Tell me how much is it? One second. Okay. So one five six zero. One five six zero divided by. Uh, what is calculator? Sorry, one two plus. Your answer is in decimal ten point eight three. Okay, let me check. So how I will do this? I will do like this. Uh. Two hours, two hours, two point, two point two four over sixty. Huh? Yeah. Two point two four over sixty. To twenty four. Twenty four divided by sixty is how much? Twenty four divided by sixty is is zero point four. Okay, so zero point four. Fifteen sixty divided by two point four. Zero point four, huh? Yeah, two point four. So you divide by two point four. So one five six zero divided by two point four. Tell me. One five six zero divided by two point four. Hmm. Six fifty. Six fifty. So six fifty kilometer per hour. Your average speed of your plane, right? Of course, this is yeah. this is good for plane. Oh, okay, we done. No, I was doing wrong way. Okay. Okay, so wait. Okay, this is new question start, but before starting new question, my back is gone. <laughs> so we will continue inshallah this one. So have a nice meeting. So, you can try this question or again, right? Whatever the question you did. Yeah, again. You can take maximum now. I just calculate your. Then you can do again in twenty or thirty minutes. Twenty minutes maximum. But you, if you do right now again, these uh, the same question, right? Without looking your solution, I will appreciate you and you will remember these techniques. Sir, I'm making notes. Wait, what did you do? One five six zero divided by what? What was that? Two point four. Yeah. Two point four. Okay. Yeah, Because you know. No, no, sir. Above that, before the working. Yeah. That one. Two plus. Two plus twenty four over sixty. You know. Because uh, this was two point two four. So point two four. Point two four, means. Uh, no, I think I did some mistake over here. We have to reorganize it again. So, what is that? 
I have the distance was how much? One five six zero divided by two hours twenty four minutes. Two hours twenty four minutes. So this also I will convert this twenty four also I will convert into sixty. I mean I want to say this. So okay. Twenty four divided by sixty because you know I am taking the hours over here. Hours in decimal. So twenty four divided this is yes reverse process. So point four yes correct two point four. So your time is two point four hour right? Yeah. Now you right. got it. Yeah, okay. you have to do it. Now right. I got it. Right. Yeah, that's that's all the answer. After that, okay. Yes. Thank you very much, boy. Okay, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Take care. Take care. Have a nice time to you. Bye.